people how are you doing today it is monday it's the 27th of march and the sun is out and shining where i am so how are you doing how was your weekend what did you get up to what have you been making well thank you for joining me today we are going to be making a little jewelry set so we're going to have a whole necklace and a bracelet to match using some very beautiful um silver foil beads again i'm using them i don't think i've used this size or shape before um and we've got some gorgeous little spacer beads and some lovely little pearls as well so as usual i'm going to say a quick hello to you all i'm going to take you over to the website so you can see the wonderful bargains and kits that we've got together for you and then we're going to get making so hello to you all hello to rachel she says good morning and hello to francis she says good morning everyone from a cold but sunny perth let's say the weather here it is cold but it's nice and bright and sunny so i think it's the same where i am good morning to kath she says good morning natalie and everybody and hello to Teresa as well who's just come in thank you so much for joining us so i hope you've been having a nice weekend mine's been very eventful full of birthday cake and celebrations and it's been a really really nice one um so yeah ready to start the week and get making good morning to camille she says good morning nat nice and sunny day here how are you all i'm really well I hope you are too. Good morning to Joanne. She says, good morning, a sunny start to the week. David's arrived as well. Hello, David. He says, good morning. He's gone out on Saturday to view a house and he's just waiting for the estate agent to call so he can put in an offer. It's lovely and sunny and he's having a busy beading day. Well, that sounds really, really positive. I'm really pleased for you, David. Hello to Anne. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Oh, she's got no sound. Can everybody else hear me okay? Is it just Anne's maybe? Are you muted? Am I okay? Will you let me know if you can hear me okay? Um, good morning to Lucy. Hello to Tracy. Good morning to Sharon. Hello to Kim. Hello to another Sharon as well who says good morning, creative bead and ears. Um, good morning to Elaine. She says good morning, Natalie and everybody. And it's sunny in Accrington. Lucy can hear me, so that's good. So can Catherine. Brilliant, everything's okay so far then my end. <laughs> uh, David says loud and clear as well, so that's good. Good morning to Janice, she says good morning. Lovely to see the sun in Swansea um, and everybody can hear me, so that's good. So I'm gonna take you over to the website now and I'm gonna show you these lovely, lovely kits. They're a really quick make to do um, and really straightforward as well. A little bit of bead stringing. And I know they're simple to do, but they look so lovely and again, I think when you've got these beautiful materials, you can make something quick and easy and it still looks absolutely beautiful. So this is very much a beginner make. Um, we'll talk you through it all step by step. But, you know, as well as all our fabulously experienced jewellers in the group, we've also got a lot of newbies as well. And um, so it's a really good one to do. Maybe if you are doing workshops yourself, you could kind of show them something like this. Um, Anne says that she can hear me and she doesn't know what happened. So I'm really glad that you've got us. Um, I don't know what's going on. Everybody's technology is very, very different, but I'm hoping today mine is all okay. Good morning to Ruth. How are you? Were you the birthday girl as well, Ruth, last week uh, or this weekend? If so, I hope you had a lovely day. Um, Lucy, you are not a newbie. You are very much a part of the furniture. <laughs> uh, Camille's also saying I'm new. You too. I've already kicked you off. I've been into a funny little mood. Um, David says they're a real bargain today and he's just bought the crystal blue and one more shade thank you so much david really really appreciate that good morning to Anne. Um, and no lucy i'm not calling you an oldie um but i mean we were talking a little while back weren't we about the little like kind of badges and logos you get when you're in a feed and it'll say two and it might mean you've been there two years or a three someone had a five and we've only been doing the lives for three years so i don't know how they got their five but um yeah i can imagine it yours is quite a high number of how many tutorials you've watched lucy um, and i've seen your gorgeous makes especially recently you've been doing some absolute beauties um in all different techniques so you're not an oldie, you're um, experienced. Good morning to Elaine. Hello, um, 
look ruth saying she's new too now <laughs> it was a birthday but she's not going to tell me how old she is so i'm going to guess i'd say ruth is about 22 are you 22 ruth um happy 21st again maybe <laughs> good morning to mina she's oh look everyone's being silly now saying they knew hello to sheila um and camille's five yeah is that your your age camille or is that how long you've been watching us for hello to sharon she says hi natalie recently made a white pink and silver necklace set and i've only got four more days to complete before my deadline you best get going put your stuff on your knee now on a little tray and watch along and carry on doing what you're doing and don't forget Sharon share it in the handmade group if you can because I'd love to see and Lucy's got her mojo back which is great to hear so you can get making as well Lucy and good morning to Denise Lucy you need to get making because I know you made the most of that offer that was on at the weekend which unfortunately now has finished I believe um Camille, you're being a little tink, right? Hello to Denise. Let's take you over to the website. Good morning, Debbie. How are you doing? So if you are new to us, which everybody seems to be suggesting that they are, then welcome. Thank you for joining me. I am Natalie Patton and this is Totally Beads Live. So head over to the website, which is totallybeads.co.uk and you can find our video tutorials in numerous different sections. You can scroll down through categories or find us on the main page. And today we are making the Kaylee set. So very, very pretty. Again, you know I do love these silver foil beads, but they, they are new, so I'm making the most of them. And look at the beautiful colours. So you've got an amethyst grape, you've got a blue cobalt, you've got a hickory, you've got a silver dust, and you've got a teal Montana to choose from today. These are going to make you a beautiful bracelet as well as a necklace. So you usually get, I think it's 20 of the beautiful, gorgeous oval um big beads and you can use them um to make your necklace and just keep one back to make your bracelet as well you get in loads of pearls in your kit so you can use those gla glass pearls to make your bracelet as long or as short as you like and you're going to get lots of lovely little spacer beads as well now they've been discounted for you all of the kits today should have been £10.99 and Simon's done as a little deal so they are just £9.50 so for under £10 you can get beautiful beautiful necklace and bracelet so I'll take you into amethyst grape on the Kaylee jewellery today and you can have a little look here so you're getting your tiger tail, you're getting your jump rings, your lobster clasp, your collots, you're getting three millimeter um, acrylic spacer beads. You're also getting your crimp beads in there as well, but they're not on the description, but you will get your crimp beads too. You're also going to get your glass pearls and you're getting your beautiful 20 millimeter silver foil flat oval beads. Don't forget those silver foil beads are handmade beads and they are absolutely beautiful. So this is your amethyst grape. So I'm going to take you through the pictures because this, it's just so pretty. I took you from all angles. There's your little bracelet on top. If you want to see how it will look on your dressing table or in a beautiful box, then that's how it looks flat. And it's just really, really gorgeous. So you can see there's your bracelet as well to match, which I think is very, very sweet, really straightforward to make. And if you're thinking, well, what are the components in the kit? You can scroll down there and you can see the gorgeous colours that we've put together. I will show you them down on the mat as well, because I think those amethyst and those um, plum glass pearls look beautiful together but they look very different shades on that photograph there. When I show you them on the mat, you'll say, oh, what a beautiful match. So there is the amethyst grape for you. Everything you need in your kit today to make one beautiful necklace and a bracelet, and it's just nine pounds and 50 pence. We've also got this beautiful blue colorway which I absolutely love. It's the most gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And we are using the cobalt um, glass pearls in that as well. So we're using six millimeter glass pearls, 20 millimeter silver foil, flat oval beads, and all your lovely little findings as well. 
So your findings do vary for the cobalt and the clear. They are on silver and on gold findings. So that means your um, lobster clasps, your um, jump rings, your culottes, your crimp beads and those acrylic spaces can be either gold coloured or silver coloured. So this one is in silver for you. Very, very pretty. Lovely, lovely shade of blue. We've also got the hickory, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous brown. It's kind of like a toffee colour, I think, a bit like treacle. So pretty. And then if you have a little look at the um, glass pale round beads that we're putting with that, it just, I think, really draws that colour out. They are gorgeous. So this one is your hickory in the Kaylee jewellery set. And it's really lovely, I think, when you have a necklace to be able to make a little bracelet too, just to use over any extra materials that you might have in your kit. But also it's nice to have a little set. They make very lovely gifts. This one is the silver dust. So you've got the beautiful um, clear silver foil beads. So all of your silver foil beads, <clears throat> excuse me, they are handmade. So you've got a beautiful, beautiful silver core to these beads. And then they're coloured with a coloured um, glass around them. So these beads are clear, but you can see that gorgeous kind of silver core running through the middle of them. I mean, if you're going to get a couple of kits, you might want to mix them up as well. You can mix up the glass pearls with the silver foil um, beads. You could mix up your silver foil beads and have one colour of pearl running through them. You could even mix up your findings. So if you prefer to have this with gold, get two kits and you could maybe do a little bit of a swap around. So that one is your silver dust for £9.50. And we also have the teal. And I think it's going to be the teal that I'm going to demo with today because it's just gorgeous. I do love this colour. I love my blues, but I think teal is just, it's just stunning. They're all so beautiful. So this is your teal colourway. And I have put that on the gold because I think it just pops a little bit more. And there is your gorgeous bracelet. Really straightforward to do, but I think they look very, very elegant and very, very pretty. So let me know in the comments which one out of these is your favourite. Amethyst grape, blue cobalt, hickory, silver dust or the teal. All an absolute bargain price today for just £9.50. So let me see which ones do you like the most. Everyone I think is in a, a, a bit of a silly mood, I'm guessing. It's the sunshine that's um, taken its effect. Um, Lucy says, yeah, I went a little over the top on that offer. I'm kind of kicking myself, to be honest, because I'm now thinking of all, like, all the gemstones and things that I could have got. And <sighs> there's always something that I want. Um, oh, Sharon says she doesn't have Facebook or Instagram, only YouTube. Not to worry, Sharon. Um you could always email me and I could see you makes that way. And um, Mina says, Natalie, I've just got a delivery of gemstone. Oh, you temptress. Um, this is where you can find us today. So we are on <laughs> totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash Kaylee dash necklace bracelet. So you've got that lovely link for you to find the set today. Thank you so much for sharing that for me, hon. Um, Mina is chatting to Camille um, and she's saying she's only going to be two and a half years. Of just being silly. Stop it. Serious jewellery making over here at Totally Beats. Good morning to Tutu. She says hello to me and everybody. Uh, Rachel's in. She says she's making a beaded cross at the moment for a parent's 60th wedding anniversary in August. Um, but she's always looking for new patterns and kits. Well, if you want to continue, Rachel, on the cross theme, I'm going to be making some lovely little crucifixes with you on Wednesday this week so a um, little bit of wire a gorgeous gemstone and um, so if you if you want to add as you say an extra kind of pattern or kit into your collection and repertoire then you can find me here on Wednesday as well and um, Pauline's just added the teal it's just lovely Pauline it's really gorgeous um, 
Sharon is asking Mina if she ordered lots of gemstones um, and she's waiting on her order to arrive as well. Um, oh, Sharon says she's had lots of lovely comments regarding her interpretation of the laurel necklace turned into a headdress. That's really, really lovely, Sharon. Um, I've seen a few different takes on that make and it just makes me really pleased to see how versatile it is how different it can be but also how differently it can be worn like we created them as necklaces but to wear them as little head like dresses is just really 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 lovely idea um camille says spring has sprung time for fun do you know what i've done i've my little one's got um easter bonnet kind of prayed on friday i've got so much in my head that i need to get sorted for friday i thought i was going to be all organized because he has to decorate it and make it himself so i thought you know we're a crafty household we'll be fab at that so i've bought loads of little things to stick on and i'll help him do it and then i realized i forgot to buy the actual easter bonnet so i'm like do i make him one out of card do we try and decorate a cap do i go back to the shop I'm just, um, oh, I just can't get organised for what I'm trying. Sharon says, Natalie, I like to make matching earrings too. You're probably going to have enough pearls in your kit here that you'll be able to make earrings as well. We haven't included ear wires or anything like that, but if you've got lots in your stash, then you can definitely make a full suite of jewellery out of this. Um, Patricia says, good morning, Natalie and Beading family. Love these. I already have some of the silver dust and it's beautiful, great price. It is £9.50 today um joanne says the teal and the cobalt cobalt the blue ones are gorgeous i was even thinking of what about mixing them up they'd also look really lovely mixing up the silver but i'll take you down on the mat and you can have a little look um at how they look together lucy is preferring the grape because there's no pink uh, david's liking the cobalt Anne's liking the teal sharon's loving the amethyst tutu likes the teal rachel likes the teal janice is saying hello um, Camille likes the uh, hickory colour. Um, I'm not pronouncing what you're putting there, Camille. I'll get into trouble. Mina um, has also got a lot of delivery of wire, which has arrived, which sounds wonderful. Janice has been walking a doggy. Thank you for joining me. Um, and everyone's having a lovely little chat. And Rachel's pleased she's going to watch on Wednesday. OK, let's go down to the mat. Before I do, I'm going to show you this one on the bust. So this is the teal. It's gorgeous, but I do need to put you down on the mat and hopefully you can see the colour a little bit better. So down on the mat, that we go. Let's get making. Janice is loving the silver dust. Anne is saying she doesn't know whether to buy the silver dust or the teal. So let me take you down onto the mat. You can see what they look like and what they look like mixed. So this is your teal. Again, I, it's, it's looking quite dark here and it's just got the most beautiful, vibrant colour. And I think it looks absolutely stunning with that little pop of gold in between on those spacer beads, which are your three millimetre acrylic. We've also got that gorgeous bracelet, which is matching. So we're just popping one on as a focal in the centre. So if I open it up, I won't put them all on, but I will lay it across my wrist so you can see that they will look really, really pretty. Obviously, you've got that gorgeous colour in whatever you choose in the glass. They are handmade beads. Very traditional um, way of making beads. They come from Venice originally, this style of bead. You can see you've got that silver foil core just running through the centre, which gives it like a beautiful kind of crackled look absolutely stunning uh, Sharon says well Natalie it's 5 18 a.m she's got to get some sleep because she's not slept in almost two weeks good night Sharon have a lovely lovely sleep and sweet dreams to you we'll catch you later so they are your gorgeous teal absolutely love them but they would look gorgeous I think if you mixed them with the clear as well so your clear has got the beautiful silver dust pearls in between You've got, you can see these ones really well, how the beads are made. So you can see that foil core in the centre and then that beautiful glass. And what's beautiful is because they are handmade. You can just see like there's a tiny little ridge on that one. They're just so sweet. Really, really beautiful. Kath is loving the teal colour. But 
I mean, how gorgeous would they look mixed together? So you could mix your actual um, silver foil beads or you could mix your pearls up as well if you wanted to. So many pretty ones. This is your cobalt blue. Just absolutely stunning colour. And I think, again, look really beautiful with those beads, those little pearls in between. This is your silver dust. I'll show you the bracelet. So that's on the silver findings too. But again, they'd look really lovely with your gold. So you could mix them up if you wanted to and have your kind of gold spaces in between. Would give it a very different look. Your hickory. So just so you can see in terms of how those colours go together. They're a very warm, beautiful brown. And I think it's almost kind of like a toffee colour on those glass silver foil beads. So that is your bracelet. I had to put that one with the gold just to bring out that beautiful warm tone. And then you've got the amethyst, which is kind of like your purpley colour. Can you see how well those um, pearls are paired, I think, and complement those silver foil beads? When I've shown you on the picture, because these are kind of like a plum colour, they just look really, really different. But when you actually see them in reality, I don't blow my own trumpet, but I think I've matched them beautifully there. And this is your little bracelet. So really, really sweet, really easy makes. And I think they're just gorgeous. So I'm going to move these down out of the way and pop them onto my bust. I will pop one on as well for you so you can see how it sits. Don't forget you can make these smaller if you want to. You just need to add in less repetitions. Um, before I do start, I have just popped them on my bust and thought like, oh my God, imagine how lovely a layered one. I mean, I might not layer it this much because it might be rather heavy, but if you wanted to, you could play around with the different colours if you were getting a couple of kits. We'll just mix them up because they're so beautiful. So down on the mat we go, let's get making. I'll just move these out of the way so we've got lots of focus. And hopefully you can see all right. Um, I know David, he says they look beautiful all on the bust. I often do that. I'll make separate colourways up and then as I'm photographing them, I'll just pop them on my stand and then I'll be like, oh, look at them multi-layered. Okay, so I'm going to use the tiger tail for this make, which is a really lovely, strong thread to use. Um, I think it's nylon coated, lots and lots of little strands together. So it's really, really strong. I'm going to cut about 60 centimetres of this because I would like it. Um, I'd like it quite long, really. But again, you can adjust that if you need to. I'm using the teal. So I'm going to take my gorgeous, gorgeous beads look at the colour, they're just so vibrant. And I'm going to use every single one on my strand, but I'm just going to keep one back for now, because that's going to be for my bracelet. So I'm just going to open up my strand. And I'm going to keep one back, which I'm going to add to my bracelet at the end. So there should be 20 on your strand in total. I'm going to use 19 of them for my necklace and one for my bracelet. I'm also going to get my gorgeous glass pearls out, which are these colour, so you can see how they look together. And because I know exactly how I'm going to position them, I'm going to attach my findings first, which is going to add like a little stopper so they don't fall off. If I'm designing something for the first time and I'm not sure in terms of my pattern or my order or my amount, I'll always start from the middle and I'll work my way out. But I'm finding, because I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my findings on to begin with. So for this, I'm using the gold findings. So let me just pop my strand there. 
So I'm going to take one of my clots to begin with, and I'm just going to thread that through the end of my tiger tail and leave that on there. Then I'm going to come in with my crimp beads. So I'm going to double crimp. So I'm going to use four crimp beads in total on the necklace and on the bracelet as well. So I'm going to slide on my crimp beads onto that tiger tail. I'm just going to pick that up again because I managed to get a little bit of fluff on it. And I'm just going to come in either with a crimping tool or with a pair of pliers. I'm just going to slide them up towards the end. And then I'm just going to make sure that I squish them flat. So they're just sitting together like so. On the end of my tiger tail. And then when I slide my calotte up. They're going to make sure my calotte doesn't fall off. And I can attach my findings. I have got a little bit of pen on my finger there. So I apologise if my hands look a little bit grubby. I'm going to close over that clot. So I'm trapping those crimp beads essentially in between like this. And then I'm just going to make sure those little eyelets at the end kind of line up together. Give it a little press just to close that over and then I can attach my jump rings and my lobster clasp or whatever clasp I prefer to use onto the end. So I've got my tiger tail now ready to go. So I'm going to start off with one of my three millimeter acrylic beads. So I'll just pour a few of these out for now. So the repetition or the pattern I'm going to do is going to be really, really straightforward. I'm going to go acrylic spacer, glass pearl, acrylic spacer, silver foil bead. And that's the repetition. Spacer, pearl, spacer, silver foil, silver foil bead. So spacer, pearl, spacer, bead. And that is going to be all the way around. So I'm going to start off with my spacer. I'm just going to slide that on. And then I'm going to get my pearls out. So let's pull these off the strand if I can. Give that a little snip off. And I'm just going to continue to make that pattern all the way round until I've used all of my silver foil um, beads. So I think in total, for the necklace, I'm using about 60 centimetres of the tiger tail. I'm going to use two of my jump rings, one of my lobster clasp, which is 12 millimetre in your kit. I'm going to use four crimp beads in total and two clots. I'm going to have 40 pieces of my little three millimetre acrylic spacers. I'm going to have a uh, 20 pieces I think of my little um lovely glass pearls which are six millimeter and I'm going to be using 19 of these in total so I'm not going to be counting because as long as I know I've kept one to the side for my bracelet I'm going to have plenty left over so all I'm going to do is I'm going to add on my little spacer bead and my pearl and my spacer just do some really lovely easy bead stringing and then I'm going to take my silver foil bead and I'm just sliding my tiger tail through that now because they're handmade they are all slightly different in terms of kind of the finish on them they're all a little bit unique so you might find that the holes are a little bit larger sometimes so occasionally you might find that your little three millimeter acrylic kind of just tucks itself in. But as you're wearing it, you will see that little kind of pop of color in between. It won't get completely stuck in the hole. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. Let's get them out there. And let's pour some more of these out. Um, Lucy says these silver foil beads are so nice. I mean, I am a little bit obsessed with them. I have used them for 
a few different makes now but I haven't used these oval ones I don't think before in this size and I think each time I go to use them I just I want to make something quite simple with it because I want to show beads off for themselves so we've done a little bit where we've added some kind of wire embellishment onto the kind of rectangular and square shaped ones i've used the big round kind of ones where we've used um, like a focal piece for it i think so we've done a different few different techniques with them from wrapped loops to turning loops to something like this which is just some easy bead stringing but they're very very beautiful they come in such lovely colors i think you know don't overcomplicate it you don't have to you know be doing elaborate stitch projects every time if you just want something nice and, and quick to make and again you know if we are selling our make sometimes we want to quick make because if we are making something which takes hours and hours you can't always kind of cost for your time because if you're if you're getting an hourly wage, whatever the minimum wage is, say, for your make, and it's took you about four or five hours to do, then, you know, a lot of people will be happy to pay for that because they understand, you know, the work, the craftsmanship that goes in to these handmade pieces. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have a selection of different makes within your kind of jewelry collection so to speak so if you want something which is a little bit more pricey it's there for your customers but for those that don't want to be spending too much money but still want to have something absolutely beautiful then these are a really really good um make to do and also you know you've got a handmade product with handmade materials these beads are handmade so i think that just makes them that little bit extra special so really straightforward i'm literally just repeating that pattern over and over and over again you've got some lovely wide holes in your um your beads here so they slide on really easily i'm just going to take this last one off my string so just slide it on up and through your acrylic spaces that have that gorgeous little pop of gold or silver that will run through your necklace or your bracelet has also got a nice large hole so it fits easily onto your tiger tail and your glass pearls i think just really tie in the color that you're using so it's a really quick make you'll be able to make this i would say in about 10 minutes um and obviously then you've got enough to make your bracelet too which will probably take you less than 10 minutes so for a full set of jewelry it's something that you can do quite easily maybe while you're chatting to friends like i am here or maybe you know watching some television or something in the background or i don't know whatever you like to do while you're making sometimes i like to just put some music on and what not I find if I've got the television in the background it depends what I'm making something like this I don't really need to concentrate too much on so I can I can watch and make at the same time um, if I'm doing something a little bit more complicated I try not to get myself distracted Camille says and enough time to crack a few jokes too <laughs> you'll have to tell me your Easter jokes we did Christmas jokes, didn't we, a little while back? So, yeah, I've uh, now got to make 
an Easter bonnet to. Well, I haven't got to make it. My little one has, but I might have to, to make him an actual hat for it all to be decorated upon. Can't believe I forgot it. I was feeling really smug with myself as well. Like, oh, I've got this. I've sorted that. Because obviously with me traveling down to the warehouse on Friday, I need to make sure I'm prepared and prepped for that. And that he's all organized for when he's with dad while I'm away. So, you know, any of his friends' parties, all the presents are wrapped and ready to go and the clothes are all sorted. The joys of uh, of being a parent, eh? <laughs> I can just about look after myself. So I'm just finishing off my little repetition. So I'm going to make sure I've used up all of my 19 of my silver foil beads. So I've just added the last one on. And then I'm going to finish off with the same pattern of little spacer, glass pearl, and little spacer. So I'm just going to pop it kind of into shape if I put it round this way. I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy that my pattern is as I want it. I've not missed anything off. And I'm just going to curve it into the shape loosely of a necklace so when I start to attach my findings on I've got the right tension and that nice little curve in it so I'm threading on my calotte again I'm going to take out two of my spacer beads uh, my crimp beads and I'm going to slide them on now I'm going to do these one at a time so I'm going to pop one on first I'm going to come in with my crimping tool or with a pair of pliers. I'm just going to hold that down, make sure it's nice and firm really against that clot. So I've not got any major gaps in my necklace. And then I'm going to pop another one on just to make sure I've got that kind of double strength and double sturdiness. Camille is saying, why did the bunnies go on strike? Because they wanted a better salary, as in salary. <laughs> boom, boom. Thanks, Camille. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know any Easter joke. So, um, yeah, I, I like it. It's not offensive anyway, is it? <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, Mina says these spaces are great and I use them a lot well I'm glad you like them I just think it adds that extra little bit of finish to whatever it is you're making so I've just cut off that extra little bit of tiger tail I'm going to do exactly the same folding over my collot firstly with my fingers then with my pliers I'm going to give it a little squish together just to make sure that it's closed over and that it's lined up. And now all I need to do is attach my clasp. So you can attach whatever clasp that you like with this. We've included a lovely little um, lobster clasp and of course your jump rings too. But if you wanted to swap that out for something in your stash, a toggle clasp or something, that would work as well. So I'm gonna open up my jump ring and slide that through the two holes on my calotte and then I'm going to add on my lobster clasp onto one side and then I'm going to close that jump ring up. So again to open up my jump ring I'm just going to get lots of surface area to give myself a good grip, just give it a little turn towards me and slide that through and then close it over by moving it away from me, going slightly past the point the two ends meet, so it will spring shut. So I have now my beautiful necklace. In fact, I won't close it. I'll put it on, and then we'll start making the bracelet. So I think I've picked quite a good top today. It will stand out in terms of colour. So you can see the length that I have here. It's... I think a quite nice position just using the 19 
Um, not too long and dangly, but also, you know, we're not going for a choker. And it's very, very pretty. Really quite lightweight as well. And I just love the colour of it. So you've got enough pearls there as well, probably, if you did want to make a little pair of earrings to match. I'm sure you probably could. For the bracelet, I'm going to take my tiger tail again. Um, now, we've put enough in your kit, so your bracelets, you can make like eight and a half inches if not more, because you're going to, you know, have all of those pearls left over. I don't need a long bracelet. I'm going to make, I'm going to cut about 20 centimetres of my tiger tail. Your tiger tail may already be uh, cut to length for you, but you can, you can cut that how you want it to. And again, um, if you want, you can work from the centre and work out. If that is the case, then I'm going to take my silver foil bead and I'm going to slide that on to the middle first. I'm also going to see if I've got a little bead stopper there just for the end when it comes to um, not being on my findings. I haven't, but I've got a bulldog clip that might work. So again, I'm just going to repeat that kind of pattern. I'm going to pop my spacer beads on. And if you want, you can work off the same side um, or you can alternate so you know you've got exactly the same amount on, I think. So I've used 10 pearls on each side here um, of my bracelet. But again, you can change your length up. So if you want to and you're not too sure, you can work off it both ends as you go. And then you can adjust or change your length by just adding on more or taking some off. I think what I will do is that going to hold? Because I know I'm going to use 10, I'm going to just count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. So I'm just going to keep sliding them on. So I'm just doing a pearl and a spacer. Pearl and spacer all the way along. Until I've got the length that I'm after. How does Easter end? says Camille, with an R, oh, <laughs> with the letter R, but also, ah, oh, Easter's finished. Camille, I don't know where you're getting these jokes from. <laughs> Stick to beading and jewellery making, Camille. <laughs> Diane says it looks nice. Thank you very much, Diane. Camille says, okay, no more. <laughs> She's going to be good now. <laughs> anybody else has got any jokes do feel free to share them <laughs> i might not read them out <laughs> okay so again just sliding on very easily just alternating that pattern and i'm going to finish with a space bead So I will add my calotte. Get out my crimp beads. And I'm going to use the very end of this so I can just slide them up. So I'm adding on two crimp beads. I'm going to slide it right up to the end of that tiger tail. Give it a little push down, bring the other one up to meet it and do the same. If you've got any tiger tail sticking out, you can give it a little trim. Slide my calotte up, close it over with my fingers and then just make sure that's lined up okay. 
before you close that over. And then slide them up to the end. So let's make sure I've got my curls here. Give that a little trip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just to make sure that they're the same on each side. Did I only get nine then? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones on. Okay. So again, I've got now my lovely silver foil bead in the center of my bracelet. And I'm just going to alternate my glass pearls and my little spacer beads by just threading them on to my tiger tail. I'm waiting for more jokes. <laughs> Camille's being very quiet now. Lucy shared the link for you today. So if you are wondering what we're making and where to find our bargain kits today, which are £9.50 pence for a beautiful necklace and bracelet set, you can head over to totallybeads.co.uk and find our Facebook um, tutorial section where you can find this set, which we've called the Kaylee Necklace and Bracelet. Thank you very much for that, Lucy. So again, nearly at the end, really quick make. This bracelet's probably going to be a little bit big for me. If you wanted, you could always make it smaller and then add on like a little bit of an extension chain. If you're making it for someone and you don't really know what size they prefer, and then you kind of made it adjustable then in that case. Sliding on my last pearl and my last spacer bead. Again, you can get that shape of a little bracelet. And then I'm just going to add on my collot onto the end. Drop that right down so it's sitting nicely against that little spacer. On with my first crimp bead. And I'm going to kind of just hold the end of that tiger tail just so it drops that little crimp bead right down into the clot. I'm going to give it a good squish to kind of crimp it in place so it's holding on to that tiger tail and then adding the next one on again in just to squish that together and then with my cutters I can trim off any excess closing it over with my fingers checking it's nicely lined up so it's keeping those crimp beads hidden inside. And then I'm just going to add on two more of my jump rings and my, color, uh, my clasp. Good morning, Lorraine. She says, good morning all. Sorry, I'm very late, but she's going to watch back. Oh, I like this one, Camille. Um, what music do bunnies listen to? Hip hop. <laughs> maybe your jokes are amazing Camille maybe it's the way I'm delivering them <laughs> Lorraine says it looks lovely thank you so much so we've been making Lorraine as you just joined us some lovely little bracelets and necklace sets um, we have called them Kaylee and we are using beautiful silver foil beads so this is your bracelet that I have just made is going to be a little bit big for me this one but there's plenty in there so you can make them larger or smaller if you need to if you need to make it smaller just add on less of your pearls and your spaces janice says it's beautiful thank you very much you can see just how 
absolutely gorgeous these silver foil beads are beautiful oval shape all handmade with the most amazing colored glass around them just so stunning so they are your bracelets and these are of course your lovely necklaces so i hope you've liked them they've been a really quick make um finished a little bit early but I think they've been very enjoyable. I hope you've enjoyed them too. Thank you, Janice. She says they're beautiful um, and you're most welcome. Joanne says she's loving the set. Thank you so much. So I'm going to be with you on Wednesday instead of Friday this week. Um, I'm going to be making with you. In fact, should I take you down on the mat if you want a little sneaky peek? Thank you, Kim. That's really nice. Camille saying earrings. You've, you can make your earrings, Camille. I haven't got my uh, ear hooks and things to hand, so I'm not making earrings, but I will show you a sneaky peek of Wednesday's live. Ruth, you're most welcome. So if you come and join me on Wednesday, I'm going to be making these lovely little crosses with you. So we may be doing a little bit of a deal. I'm not too sure. There's going to be a few different styles. Well, they're the same style. But obviously, we can't just do one colour, can we? So I've done um, a light gold, a silver. You'll also, I think, be able to get your rose gold. So if you like your pinks, you can have your pink. And we're going to be using some gorgeous faceted gemstones in there. We've got um, a rose quartz, an amethyst and an onyx. This is what I'm hoping we'll put together for you on Wednesday. If it's not exactly this, it will be looking very, very similar. Um, Joanna's saying, oh, she loves the cross. Um, Lucy's saying, wow, the rose gold one, I want to learn it. Joanne's loving it, Camille's loving it. Um, wow, look at those. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. I think, you know, it's something quite traditional as an Easter gift goes. I was going to make little wire bunnies and things with you, but I thought you can wear these all year round. I'm hoping they're going to be very, very popular and um, they are quite straightforward to make. I'm going to show you it step by step. So I hope you like them. You could always adapt them as well. So, I mean, you could change the lengths up if you wanted and create maybe a sword or something completely different um, using that technique. But I do hope you like them and I do hope you come and join me. Oh, you're all being so nice. Janice says stunning. Lorraine saying beautiful. Pauline saying it looks amazing. Wow, says Elaine, they look beautiful. Birgit says amazing as well. Thank you so much. Um, so if you'd like to see how to make them and get your hands on the kits, like Teresa says, she can't wait for Wednesday. Come and join me here on Totally Beads at 10 a.m. UK time and, and we'll make them together. Until then, have a lovely couple of days and I will see you soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.